home if you've really given your all. Not just great effort until things went wrong. Not just working hard for a year before things got hard. So you quit and gave up on your dream. I mean, when you are dead on your feet, when you are buried by all the crap life piles on you, but you dig deeper and find life. You dig deep in your soul and discover you got more. Dig deeper, find the hidden hunger and try. This is not a time to quit. This is not a time to stop. Dig deeper, you got to live your fullest potential. Wish you in the beast, wake it up and make it a rise. Dig deeper, how many times have you? You know, discipline and commitment. It does. It does go hand in hand. You know, and I like to equate it to, to sports. Um, this stuff that I do is all revolved around sports. But, you know, if I struggle with dribbling a basketball with my left hand and I want to become a better basketball player, I know that I need to work on that. And so in order to improve that, then I need to make the commitment uh, in order to prove that. So let's just say, hey, I'm, I'm going to go one hour a day. I'm going to work on my left hand. I want to work on doing dribbling drills, dribbling the basketball with my left hand to get better. I'm going to make that commitment. I'm going to do that. Well, in order to make that commitment, there has to be discipline. You see, I have to be disciplined in order to do that one hour every single day. And that discipline comes in and that commitment comes in because if I'm going to spend an hour a day to work on developing my left hand so I can become a better basketball player, that means I have to give something else up in order to do that because God's not creating more time. You know, we each have 24 hours each day and, and that's it. And so if I'm going to take an hour to improve myself and to get better in a certain thing, then that means I have to give other things up. And I see a lot of people today, a lot of younger people, a lot of athletes today that they want the championships, they want the, the titles, and they, they, they want all the glory. But they're not committed, and they're not disciplined to put in the work that it takes to earn those things. And as I think about our, our Christian life, we are, a lot of us, we're the same way. You know, we want heaven. We want, we want God's blessing upon our life. We want his favor upon our life. But yet we won't commit to spending time with him on a regular basis, on a daily basis. We won't, we won't be disciplined enough to, to carve out a little bit of time each day just to, to dedicate and to give to him and to spend with him. But yet we want all the stuff, but yet we won't make those commitments in order to receive the stuff. And, and yes, I, I am committed to doing the training for the Ironmans and the marathons, as I am committed to that. But what a lot of you don't know is, yes, I'm committed to doing the workouts. But before I ever do my workout, the first thing I do when I get out of bed is I spend time with Jesus. It's the very first thing. So I know that to do these workouts, some of these workouts that I do are, are an hour or more to get ready to compete and to do the Ironmans. I, ha I have to work backwards. So I know if I have to be at work by, let's say, 745, and I know that my workout that day is going to be over an hour, okay, we're, we're already at 645, and then I know I have this and have that. So my morning, I pack everything up. Because there are non-negotiables, and that non-negotiable is the first thing I do when I get out of bed, is I spend time with Jesus. I, I, I'm reading, I'm in His Word, I'm reading His Word, I'm spending time praying, I'm doing my devotions. And then, and, and, I, and I journal, and then when I'm done with that, then I walk my dogs. My, my Walking my dogs is, is, is more than just me getting outside, it is me spending time and even more prayer as I'm walking my dogs. And all that takes about an hour and a half. So that means I have to get up at 345 in the morning in order to do those things so I can still do my workout and still get to work on time. And yes, that means when I get home at the end of the day that I do go to bed earlier and I have to give up watching TV. I have to give up doing other things. 
because I am committed to getting in shape. I'm committed to doing these things to, to one, just to improve my health, but two, to try to be an inspiration and try to motivate you that watch these videos to get out and to do more because so many people are just sitting there doing nothing when God has created you to do something amazing and incredible and you have that greatness inside of you. You have in you something that this world needs and they're just waiting for you to get out there and do it. You know, I came across this verse the other day and it's I'm reading it from the Living Bible. And it's in Ecclesiastes 11.4 and it says, if you wait for the perfect, if you wait for the perfect conditions, you will never get anything done. So many of us are sitting around waiting for the perfect thing. We're sitting around waiting for this stuff to happen. This these perfect conditions for it in order for us to do something. And the truth of the matter is we can't wait. Procrastination is a killer. And the first step that you and I have to take is this. We have to eliminate our excuses. We have to eliminate our excuses and we got to start taking action. And the second step is we got to we got to be less busy. So many of us are so busy running around like chickens with our heads cut off. And we're so busy trying to do stuff that we miss out on what God's trying to tell us and do in and through us. And I came across this, that the most important thing is not whether you are busy, but whether or not you are progressing. You say, I want to be progressing in my life, even if it's just 1%. I want to get better in every area of my life and I have to progress I have to take those small steps in order for that to happen you see it's activity versus accomplishment I'd much rather accomplish than just be busy hey I hope I encourage you I hope I motivate you I hope I inspire you somehow some way remember there's greatness inside of you be strong go out there people are waiting for what you have I love you take care